Ruth here, and as you can tell by the title, which kind of bypasses my mind slightly, even though I looked at it like two minutes ago, um, this is from Hitmon underscore me 98, which I think is right. I think it's like, yeah, I think I got the numbers right now. Anyway, and check out his Instagram. He's very nice, awesome pictures, you know. Good guy. So thank you so much for sending this to me. I actually had, you know, was quite surprised when you asked me for my address to send me the Secret Santa thing because I was not expecting anything. So thank you, man. That's awesome. Um, so I need to. I took a slight sneak peek, but uh, let's see what's inside, shall we? Ooh, awesome. This is a Blazing Volcano theme deck. Nice. Oh, I'm not even looking at it on the screen. Let's see, I'm looking at the camera back there. Awesome. And as some of you may know by now, Entei is my favorite legendary Pokemon. Awesome. I don't actually really buy theme decks because I don't have anyone to play it with. But this will. And also, I suck at making decks myself. <laughs> so I don't really try because I wouldn't have no clue what to put in it. But this, this is awesome. Let's see. I don't think I've ever opened a theme deck on this channel either, so let's get to it, shall we? From small sparks to a raging volcano, release the red hot power of the legendary Pokemon Entei. <clears throat> Sorry, that. <clears throat> I need to say this right, right? <clears throat> okay. Re bleh. Release the red hot power of the legendary Pokemon Entei. Yeah, that sounds right, right? Uh, this slow building deck combines the power of fire and grass types to fan a small flame into a raging inferno. Burn your way to victory with the Blazing Volcano theme deck. In this box you will find quite a list of things too. 60 Pokemon card deck, card checklist, metallic coin, oh, that's interesting, I wonder which one, wonder which one it is. A uh, two player play mat and rule sheet, one code card, a uh, deck box, and damage counters. So I'm guessing which one are like the cardboard ones. But let's see. Oh, this is kind of like embossed too. That's nice. Lovely. Entei 244, four, which I guess is uh, um, what's it called? Pokedex uh, number. Deck list. Uh, NTA times two. Blaziken. Oh, I'm not gonna read it how many there are, but let's see. Blaziken, Torture, Counter, Houndar, Mark, Knife Cargo, Slugma, Shekel, Heracross, Smurl, Big Malasada, Copycat, Guzma, Kahili, Lily, Mellow, Nespo. I still need a Mellow full art. Uh, anyway, um. Pokemon Fan Club, Professor Kukui, I still need that for art too. Uh, Rescue, Stretcher, Sightseer, Switch, Tate and Lisa. I don't have that for art, but I'm not too bothered. Um, Timer Ball, TV Reporter, still need that one too. Um, Ultra Ball, Fire Energy, and Grass Energy. Ooh, normally in the decks they have the, uh, the, the, the. <coughs> Yeah, um, the deck thing is the um, hollow um, energy, yes, that's the word I'm looking for. Hollow energy, right? That's what I these deck things, hollow energy. Uh, I know that in like the legendary decks with the, you know, the three words and stuff, that had hollow energy. But, uh, I don't want to mess it up.
This thing is not too much like it. Time for some skizzers. Some skizzer action. Come on. Okay, okay. That one thing. Ah, oh, man. Oh, it's not too noticeable. I can take that. As they say, hindsight is 2020. So let's go through this. Does this have tape? Please don't have tape. Yes, no tape. Ooh. Let's see what this paper play mat looks like. Oh, it's got a, uh, how to win a game, and blah, blah, blah. How to play, and blah, blah, blah. That type of stuff on the inside. All that stuff. Yeah. Anyway. Cool. Because obviously, you know, it's a two-player, two-player play mat. It's got, you know, Info. So cool. So I go on that side. Who cares about him? Nice. Lovely. So prize cards go. Active and fish. Deck. Just an odd pile. Very nice. I really like this one. They should make an NK playmat. That'd be cool. Cardboard of this. That's cool. I have a cardboard of these. But I don't have a cardboard of this. Cool, cool. This is a uh, storm colored thing. Ah, oh, I see. It's a double side thing. Going on. Okay, on the back. There's this theme deck. Huh. Oh. That's that info sheet. Here is... Oh, it's a lost thunder card checklist. That's nice. Makes it so much easier. That's pretty cool. You know, if you need to come with the checklist, I might just get get a deck. Well, maybe you can come. Hmm. It's an entire coin. Awesome. Love that one. And here we have the. That is empty all around, people's. Nice. Um, it comes with a code card. And obviously this lovely. No, I don't actually have that. <laughs> It's like a shadow, a shatter foil kind of effect there. That's cool. I'm gonna sleeve this up because it's awesome. Well, it's like, so. I'm gonna go sleeve it anyway. Slightly bent, but I can always flatten it out Mm 
Coconut Fire. Hand you mellow fire. Kakui Torch it. Glowies Rapture TV recorder. Take me to Nespo Basking Hound Glass energy slugma. Such nice stretcher. Hair cross. Nespo. Guzma. Time roll. Sightseer. Shackle. Drop cat. Time roll. And. Some. Ultra ball. Pokemon King Club. Big. Blakey, Ricardo. <laughs> so that's first. Short. So I think some of these. Because I know I don't think I've pulled a smear bowl before. Yet. But who knows? But anyway, I'll set this aside. The uh, section for pre made decks in my folder. I need to make that section first, but uh, yes. So this will go in here. So it stays with it there. Awesome! So once again, Thank you, man. It's so cool. You know, it makes me want to buy a thing deck, but I wouldn't know what. Well, um, the battery cut off. Um, so I was saying, I it kind of makes me want me to buy more theme decks, but I don't really buy them because I don't really play them. And since I'm a collector, they do have you know doubles inside. But anyway. I will keep this on its own somewhere. Don't know where yet. But I shall keep it to the side just in case. I actually get to play with it. And it is my favorite legendary. You guys should have gone to. Um, <laughs> that's just random. Anyway, I really love this too. Show pretty. And shiny, and like shiny things, you know, like a magpie. But uh, yeah, so that's all so cool. Cool stuff. Cool, yo. Now, um, for now, I guess I'll put this back in here because I don't know where else to put it right now. So. So my coin will go with the other coins, which I keep in this little tin here. If I can get it. I mean, I had all four and, yeah. See, this is my coin thing. Put it on there. See, this is my coin tin. This, I think, tin came in a, you know, in something, so. I shall put that there. Here. Oh, I've got two dice. I've got two dice on top. I should put that other one. Anyway, so that's that one. And that, it's that coin, which I don't know why I put it away because I need to take a picture of it. Man, I am so not thinking straight right now. Alright, so. I'll just put that there for now. Anyway, yes, so thank you so much for this gift. And it's really kind of you to send it to me. And yeah, just awesome. So, oh, and if I didn't say this, his link will be in the description box below, so you can check him out. Um, now, there was a, uh, I'm not sure what, you know, what video to put this in, but I thought I might as well chuck it in at the end of here. So, maybe I bought the three pins from the uh, 
loot vault, I guess. Because they're loot crate exclusives, I thought, you know, might as well. Then why not? Um, so yeah. Here. Is, I thought it was, you know, pretty. And this is from Thunder Games Mocking J Part 2. You know, I still have to watch that. I mean, I bought it ages ago. I think I pre ordered it actually, but I haven't actually watched it yet because I got it sidetracked with other things. But yeah, I thought that was a pretty bird, you know. And it is a pin to go on my pin board. So that's that one. Then next, I got this one. It is Noragami with the Yato and Hiyori, I guess it was, and obviously, what's his name? That's the, the sword. Uh, man, I haven't watched this in ages. This one has two backings here. So, yeah. I thought that was pretty cool, and I don't have a pin related to this anime. So I thought that was pretty cool. And also this one is very, very cool. The uh, cover, the exclusive cover, which I do have, which I think I got that from my Aki Bento, actually. Hmm. Anyway. I got the main book with the exclusive cover, and now I have the pin with the exclusive cover. So it's nice. I put it down next in my anime section on my pin board. So that's pretty nice. Now you gotta watch this anime, do check it out, because it is really funny and has actual, like, authentic medical uh, info in it, so you can learn while you watch. That's pretty cool. And scientific, and um, well, anyway, it is, it's very good. That's a pretty good one, too. Not as good as this one, I don't think. No, I still need to watch that. Anyway, yes, that's it. So, thank you for watching. Like us for more. Ring that doorbell for notifications. Fill around.